Hey guys, it's Aaron from MobileReviewsA.C and today we are going to do the waterproof and drop test for the Phantom 5 iPhone case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. That was a weird way to say iPhone. Real usage, real reviews. MobileReviewsA.ca the Phantom 5 is waterproof up to 10 feet, which is about 3 feet more than your usual LifeProof or OtterBox case. It is also shockproof up to 6 feet, so it's a pretty tough case. Now, we've already done a waterproof test without the iPhone in it. In this tub of water, I've actually got the Phantom 5 with an iPhone in it. I am going to show you where water is probably going to go into the case if it does leak, and I'm going to do it with a pair of pivot head POV glasses. So that's the Phantom 5, and as you can tell, water is just kind of coming off of the uh, edge of the case. The only parts where water could get in is right along the uh, safety latch. This orange strip, this is an O-ring and you can customize the color um, with uh, three different colors that Phantom 5 includes with their packaging. So that's where water can come in and the only other part is the plug for the headphone jack. That's the only two places where water can get into the uh, cavity of the Phantom 5. Now if we crack it open, if we take a quick look at the headphone jack, there isn't anything there to report, it looks kind of dry. And if we take the safety latch off, as you can tell on the inside of the iPhone there, or the inside of the case, there isn't actually any water. So the case, I would say, is generally very waterproof. Now, if you've been watching some of our other videos, you'll note that we actually did drop this case by accident, and there is this big gouge in the screen protector. And as you can tell, that gouge didn't penetrate the screen protector, and so the phone is pretty safe. Now, in terms of droppability, it's droppable from six feet or shockproof from six feet. Now, my biggest concern is actually the safety latch and these plastic hooks that the safety latch sits on. These two places, uh, as you can tell, I can kind of bend them and flex them, so I'm actually not too convinced that this case is going to stay together during one of our drop tests, which we're going to do. So guys, we're going to drop the Phantom 5 from about six feet and we're going to do it along this edge because I'm really curious again to see if it'll hold up together. If this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, uh, do click subscribe as our channel is all about helping you get the most out of iOS. So product reviews, tips and tricks, as well as news. Um, I do apologize for the birds, I have no control over it or the construction people work in the background. But we've got another iPhone recording in slow motion. We're gonna start the video on this iPhone and we're gonna drop it. That's along the corner. The entire safety latch is still intact. The screen doesn't look like it's cracked. So I'm about 5'8", that's about six feet. See how well this does. Well, that was a face first drop. Safety latch is still on. I'm going to do it against the corner. That was a good bounce. And it's still on. Now, I guess my concerns were a little unwarranted. They, uh, the case is still together. The iPhone is still recording. So all in all, I would say that the Phantom 5 is a pretty tough case. It's a little more waterproof than some of the other cases, such as the LifeProof Free as well as all the... It's a little more waterproof than the uh, LifeProof Free and the OtterBox preservers, being able to go down an extra three feet. And it is just as droppable. And I think this thing is actually 10 to 15 bucks cheaper. So, hey, Monty, stop eating. Hey, leave it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this case, leave them in the comments section below. If you want to see the full review for this video, check out the annotations at the end of this video, as well as check out the uh, comparison tables that we've done for the case against life other cases on our website. I'm Aaron the Ho. I'm going to stop talking because it's actually really starting to rain quite a bit. So. This is incredibly frustrating. This is the third time that I filmed this video. The first time I forgot to push record. The second time the batteries on my mics just died. These stupid Duracell alkaline batteries just absolutely suck crap. And now there's somebody outside cutting wood. So you can hear that in the background. It is driving me absolutely batty. Making these videos are so sometimes incredibly frustrating because you had to deal with all this stuff that you can't really deal with. I've been waiting for several hours. It's supposed to clear up today, but it's still raining. And so I'm filming this video in the rain. I'm getting really frustrated. Mosquitoes love me, but it's raining, so I guess there aren't that many mosquitoes. All right, let's get back to this.
So the only parts where water could get in is 